hello welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back as always huge massive thank you for all the support I really love and appreciate every one of you guys out there so we're gonna have the last play with these delightful robins at least for now um, and hopefully gonna get a card made with each of these um, so they are going to be well concepty a little bit I'm afraid um, but they aren't difficult so hopefully you will um, like them so let me pop that out of the way a second and I'm going to start by bringing in um, a piece of 6 by 12 cardstock so um, I am going to be doing a um, uh, an easel card and it will be 6 by 6 so what I'm going to do is just, just notice that one's got a little bit of a dent on the corner so um, I am going to go with this so again it will be a 6 by 6 card once we are done so um, the first card I'm going to be making is this one um, actually both of them have got the gold foil in so um, I'm going to be using some gold mirror on them so and also some acetate so let's start by bringing in some gold mirror card and I need to do a piece for both sides on this one so I need two pieces that are two notches under the six just under so I will save that for another day I'll just grab another piece let's pop you there and again two notches under the six let's move I'm going to keep that piece because I might need that on the next card. Um, so this one, just as we've done with all of the others, I'm going to score that or cut that in half. So that will go on to there. And then I'm going to bring in a piece of snowfall acetate. Let's see what I'm going to visit that way. Okay. And this I'm going to cut six by seven inches. Okay, so I'm going to be making an acetate easel card. Hopefully, if things go well. Um, so, yep, yeah, I think that is all we need there. So I'm going to bring in my score tool and the actual scorer and then on the longest side so on the seven inch side I'm just going to score that at an inch I'm just going to gently ease that over I don't want it to be too harsh um, a fold otherwise it will fold in on itself more than I want it to and then this piece I'm going to score at six and then we'll give that a little burnish down there we go okay so with the acetate itself we're going to use some red liner tape um, just so that we can hide those workings underneath um, our layers so I'm going to take this and I'm going to pop it I'm just going to move that card out of the way bear with me yeah so I've put it down um, well I'll bring it up to the camera in a second and show you but it's not right on the edge because remember we're going to have our layers there and I am going to put two strips on there because I want to make sure that does stay put. I'll just give that a little press down. Okay, so if I bring this up, you can see I'm probably about maybe just under half a centimetre from the end there. Okay, 
like I say, you don't want to bend that down too much at this stage. Um, but I'm going to let me just double check that fits okay on there. Okay. So I'm going to be brave. I'm going to butt that up. So if I get the edge of it up to the edge of my card, and I should be able to just give that a good press down. And then I'm just going to use my bone folder just to make sure that all makes connections. And then I can go ahead and give that a little bit more of a score. And then my card is going to sit like so. Okay, so let me get that out of the way okay so for the um, inside of the card let's see which way around I want to do it so um, my thinking is that this is going to go on the center I was thinking that this would be at the back I think that's probably going to be best and then this bit's going to be on the bottom now, because we're going to pop this out, if I pop this onto here, all you're going to see is gold through it, and I don't want that. So I'm going to grab the matching inserts. It should be... I guess it's going to be that one, because that's the reddest, reddest one there. Although, to me, it looks a bit orange. And what I'll do is I'll put that behind it so that there is still somewhere to um, write. Okay, so it would be on the inside there. Just debating now whether... Yeah, I definitely think that should be behind. Okay, so let's go ahead and start some of these layers. Just checking didn't put that on quite as straight but I think it will still sit straight on my card so it's going to be fine so I'm not going to worry about that too much so as usual I've got my um, all-purpose glue Kalau all-purpose glue and my Kalau tacky so I'm going to start with my um, um, Miri let me just grab that pin I did refill these up so I think it's just moved the blockage near the top or something. There we go. That should be, I think. Yeah, there we go. And I'm going to pop a little bit of tacky into the corners. Oh, that one's not working. Oh, let's stab that one as well. Bear with me. Okay, so like I say, I did refill all of my glues, even changed the blade on my knife before we started today, so and oh, we're going to do the top bit first, so let's pop this on to there. I'm going to give that a good press down. I think that should stick okay to the acetate. If it does come up, what I will do is just pop a little bit of, um, you know, if that does come up there, what I will do is just pop a little bit of red liner tape behind it, but I think it should be fine. So next I'm going to come in with this layer here, which is the insert. Just a little bit of that all purpose around a little bit of tacky glue on the corners just being a little bit careful with the inserts or side of things because um it uh, it's paper so it can um sometimes ruckle up a little bit with the there we go. can sometimes ruckle up with um tacky glue so because it's got that water content in it um, and what I will do is just, as I always say, just be super careful with the all-purpose glue with your foiled surfaces because um, you can take the shine off. Okay, 
so that's why I usually put a bit of tacky glue on the edge just so I don't go too near the edge with that um, all-purpose glue okay so coming along now so we are moving on to this base piece now so this is the piece the piece that's going to um, prop up our easel so like a normal easel card would and pop that straight down shifted just a tad just going to try turning that round because it does seem to be a little bit just seem to be a bit um, more of a border on one side than the other so again a bit of tacky glue in the corners all purpose all the way around and I don't think there's a right or a wrong way with these so we're just going to go ahead and pop that on okay so we've got our card and um, as you can see at the moment that's how we are looking so obviously this is plain if you wanted to take one piece of the um, decoupage uh, maybe a bird or something to pop it in there we might well do that um, but at the moment the way I'm thinking about it is that um, I'm going to leave that plain to be written on because you could write on here but it would be a little harder that would be easier to write on okay so for this piece here I'm going to stick it on with some hunky dory pads now you will be able to see this from behind I, I'm in two minds whether I'm going to leave it like that or whether I'm going to stick a piece of card behind it later I won't do it on the video but possibly may come back and just stick uh, just a circle exactly the same size behind just to um, hide those workings cross over my pads there let's just whip that off okay and then if I peel these off and I'm not going to be putting any tacky glue on this layer because I'm going on to acetate it will still stick better onto the acetate if I don't put the tacky glue on, I feel. So let's put him the right way round and then pop him in. It doesn't really matter actually if you get it exactly on, um, but that's how that is going to be sitting. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just bring that round and then I've already glue over I've already put the um, pads all over the back of here so let's just pop some of these out so this one is popping out a little bit easier than some of the others were so far so we've got um, some snow we've got our hat we've got a wing Bird. We've got another snowman. Uh, not some, yeah, another snowman. With the bird. And it does say on the packaging, you know, if you do struggle, you know, use your knife or scissors to get these out. Let's a scarf. And another bird. And this is another bird. This is one we might put inside. We've got another snowman head. And another leaf there. I have got some bits here that did fall out beforehand. So I'm not sure if they are part of it or not. But We've got a sentiment there as well, and that looks 
looks like it's the next one. Okay, so let's pop that out of the way. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all is just check and see what that would look like there. Yeah, I'm going to pop this bird on the inside just so it doesn't look quite so bare. There'll still be room to, for um, somebody to write. We're just going to have a little bit of a detail there. If you want to leave it plain, you can do. And I'm going to come. Right there, I think. So just in there. So you've still got room to write all the way around. And then we just need to get these pads off. So with the decoupage, you take the largest piece and work your way down to the smallest. And what you'll find is bits of the image do disappear as you get down to the smaller bits. And that just gives you that bit of perspective. Um, and hunky dory and decoupage um, they do it very very well so we don't have to worry about that so with this what I'm going to do so I'm looking at that that bush there that tree and I'm also looking at the um, circle Come on, I wasn't ready. There we go. That's the benefit of having that glue on there. There we go. So we've got our door starting to be hidden there. And then this piece, you can see you've got the bushes taken away in that one. So we know this is going to be the next layer. just going to turn this around and we're going to line up our snowman's hat and that should all line up around the bottom as well so it'd be a lot easier for you at home because you're not going to have um, a bright light overhead especially onto this acetate so again the next layer I got my hunky dory order um, yesterday, mm -hmm. so I am super happy with that. Now. Some new things to play with soon. Um, like I say, this is going to be the last of the delightful robins, at least for now. Um, if I find something interesting, another way to use them, um, you know, besides what I have already done. Um, I will come back and do another video. Like I say, I do enjoy playing with these kits. The birds. Just makes me think of my nan, really. And my mum, really, because, you know, she... She liked her birds. She was... Uh, her and Donna used to feed the birds until the rat came in the garden. And then suddenly they didn't want to feed the birds anymore, which makes me laugh. But it was living underneath the shed. We didn't, we didn't mind, well, we didn't mind the, my, the mouse. There was a little mouse in there who was super cute. Well, a little family of mice. And, uh, but they were no bother. You never really saw them. 
it's only Henry who would tell us they were there really and a couple of times I saw one in the tree going after the cherries but they were um, super cute but um, sort of, uh, the rat he was big I mean he was as big as Henry but uh, they stopped feeding him and and obviously summer came anyway so he moved on or she moved on to places where there was food okay and this bit goes to and if you wanted to stop at the bigger pieces you know once you've got the decoupage you can do it's not it's not going to make any um real difference to the effect on it that's on the wonk yeah, let's just not now let's turn you around just turn the hat around okay and what have we got here? We have got that's for the other one. That's for the other one. And we've got a little bit of scarf. So there's all of our decoupage on you can see all of the layers there and then we just have to decide how we are going to do the stopper so I could do the same as what I did last time where I just had um, the sentiment in the center but I thought I might because I had some of that red left over from last time if I grab my um, school board I'm gonna grab a piece of this gold that was left over so it's six and uh, it's two under the six and I'm just gonna take that to um, an inch actually I'm gonna take that to four notches so that it's going to go within that space there a little better and then if I bring in this piece hopefully that's okay, notches and then we just want to go to two notches under the one So the borders are not quite right, so I'm not quite sure why. Alright, so for some reason it's just decided to tilt a little bit. I'm just going to attempt to straighten that up and I tend to use a little bit of that tape just to hold it in place while I'm cutting ah, that's better and then we've got that bit there and then we've got a piece to go across if you wanted to jazz that up a bit more what you could do is pop it through an embossing folder um, or you could, um, if you've got any peel-off stickers with snowflakes on, dyes with snowflakes, you could go ahead and um, just put some snowflakes on top just to tie it all in. I'm going to keep it just as the red, um, just because that was my original um, decision. Another thing I could do though, which might be nice. 
just bring in a bit of ribbon and then we can have a little bow on it as well and that will tie in the greens with this greenery that we have okay so I'm just going to grab two little pieces of this red liner tape and I hadn't planned to use the ribbon I'll be honest but it just sort of caught my eye and I thought well it's going to break it up nice it's going to tie it in so why not indeed and it's just a little scrap of ribbon that needs to be used up anyway so um, it's all good isn't it and if you didn't want to use a ribbon you could use your fibres, string um, anything like that really A little bit on the wonk. So let's just grab a bit better. Okay, and then I'm going to use these hunky dory um, squares. these are a little bit higher than those one millimeter pads that I was using before I think these are about a three or a four so um, not the highest pad that I've got but quite high okay so I'll put plenty on there just for support because I'm gonna have that support in our whole card um, I've got some strips I don't know why I didn't use the strips but Just let that rest nicely on there and then we've got our little sentiment so let's see yeah I'm gonna pop some of these on there again so we will be going a little higher A little bit of tacky glue. I'm going to put that there. It will be hanging over, um, but I don't want it to, to interfere with that mechanism. So let's do a tiny little bow. And then we're nearly finished with this one. a bit of tacky glue in this case because we're going to have a bit of time for it to dry so it should be fine worst comes to worst I'll come back with a bit of pin flare looks like it's going to need a bit of pin flare look at that you say it's going to be fine and then it isn't okay let's grab A little bit skizzy on that top, so okay. So, I'm just gonna pop that down. If you've got a glue dot and they work for you, you can always use that instead. I find they don't, they don't always stick for me, so that's that. And then, lastly, but never leastly, I'm gonna 
couple little gems and it will just be a couple of gems and I think we'll go with green I'm just going to do three and I think I'll go with these lovely dark glittery green pieces if I can get them up no it doesn't want to leave me these are very sticky Two smaller ones on this side. Okay. And that is that one finished. So we've got our acetate easel card. Um, we've got our little robin inside just for a little bit of decoration. There is room to write on there. Um, and that is that one finished so I'm going to put that to the side and we'll let that bow set nicely and what I'm going to do is just get set up for card number two okay so for card number two again I'm bringing in a piece of 6 by 12 cardstock and I'm going to bring in my scoreboard so I'm going to make like um, a bow a bow front one so I'm going to score at the six so that's my half fold and then I'm going to score at one and a half and I'm going to score at four and a half so we've got one and a half we've got one and a half and then this should be three I believe yes okay so let's bring that over let me just turn that that way because it's a little bit brighter on that side of the card um, and I'm just going to give that a fold and a fold and you don't need to go too crazy with the burnishing because you do want it to sort of um, sit like so when it's open just get that half fold in because that is going to help us okay let's bring up the trimmer and we can start doing some layers okay so with this one we are going to be a little bit creative okay um so i am going to start with gold mirror card um so i need to do a piece for the back so that's going to be two notches under the six and two notches under the six so that's our back piece and then I need to do um, so let me just see is that going to be let me just get another piece because I want it to be all the I might be able to cut it the other way so let's have a look yeah okay i think we'll be all right so what i'm going to do is turn that round and cut that two notches under the six and then i want a piece that is going to be um well i want two pieces that are one and a half minus two notches so there's one There's two, and they should fit onto there quite nicely. And if they're the same, they should be fine. And then we want piece a piece that's um, two notches under the three for that centre piece. Okay. So I also want um, a stopper. So my stopper. I think again I'm going to go with that one inch and I'm hoping that's going to be yeah, two notches under the six and I'm bringing in uh, a little off cut of this um, glitter card it's sort of the closest match I can find to any card that I've got 
that's similar to that sort of burgundy so I decided to go with that one so if I take that to I'm going to do it this way first of all so I'm going to cut that two notches under an inch hopefully that should fit on there quite nicely and then so we've still got another piece for another day and then we want two notches under a six let's keep that piece out of the way and then that should go Two notches under six. I don't understand why that was longer when this, this thing says they're both the same. Okay, let's just take another little bit. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so um, we are going to cut this into half and this piece will go on the inside. I'm going to pop that piece out for now. And then I want a piece that's going to be one and a half minus four notches. Um, and that will go on to one of those pieces there. And then I'm going to turn it around and go one and a half minus four notches on that side. Just trying to keep the actual pattern itself. And then this piece needs to be um, three minus four notches. So we've got two, four, six, eight. So if I take it to three on that side and then turn it around and take it to four notches under the three, hopefully if I've not got my measurements wrong, it's going to fit perfectly. Okay, so let's do it again with this bit. So we're going to three. And we're going to turn it around and go four notches. And again, that should fit directly into there. And we don't have to worry about the circle because um, that's going to be going back on it in the centre of our card. Okay, the other thing I wanted to do just before I do anything else is just take a piece of this cardstock off just in case I need it. I'm not sure if I'm going to need it, but it matches in with our cardstock, so I've got it there and I can add that in if I need to I may not need to but I'd rather be prepared okay so let's get to assembling so just as we've done with everything else a bit of tacky glue in the corner a bit of all-purpose flavor and this is my favourite combination of glues. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you're probably sick of me doing this. But it's my favourite, so apologies. Um, it works for me, so. And I think once you find something that works, you're very reluctant to try something else. Yeah, I've been crafting for, oh, it must be about 20 years or so. And... Uh, it's taken me this long to get to a place where I'm happy with the glues that I'm using. So, 
that's gone into the middle of there okay so let's pop that out of the way and then I'm going to come in with some glue onto this piece here there and then I'm going to do the same on that other side just again making sure you're nowhere near those creases because we do want that to crease in order for this card to have that um, that uh, movement so we can prop it open that bow front okay and then that one's going straight back in there we go and then let's have a look so I need to see which is which so I'm pretty sure that side is this side I don't think it's going to make a lot of difference because we've broken it up in the middle anyway so we probably would be forgiven any little differences my border's not great on that one but I'm hoping you're going to forgive me with the idea of going back to using a guillotine but like buying a new guillotine maybe like a crafter's companion one or something or the hunky dory one just wanting to get straighter edges sometimes I think it's more because like uh, by the time you've put the little flap down sometimes it's just slightly moved Uh, you know the um, the little barrier thing. I don't know what the proper name for that is, but uh, guard, I suppose it is, isn't it? It's like a little guard. Okay. Okay. And then because we are going to go for a bit of dimension with this. orientation right decoupage so just powder on this side so it's the hellebore one at least the last one we come to isn't it so he's kind of so the flowers are overhead okay so I'm going to come in with these hunky-dory pads again but what I need to do is make sure I haven't got anything on those edges so I just need it straight down the middle so let me just double check got that the right way so I'm going to put them there There, and then we put them there. Tacky glue, tacky glue. I'm just going to bring that down just a little bit towards me. Oops, and drop it anyway. So it is slightly off on that top bit, but because we've got it onto gold, 
you're not going to see that. Okay, so let's just move that out of the way. So now we are going to come in with the layers. Or shall I do that piece first? Let's do this piece. So let's open that up. I'm just going to use tacky glue on here because I want that to be a nice quick stick. Again, if you wanted to put some stickable snowflakes on, die cut snowflakes, anything like that you could do. So let me just grab a good habit of the strip. There's another strip. So these look like they are the um, chunkiest ones, so they must be about five. So again, just going to pop that all the way down. So this is really a bit like an easel card. If you can make an easel card, you can definitely make one of these. It's just it's on the different perspective, so to speak. It's on the Sort of landscape instead of a portrait. So again we're going to pop that off. Put tacky glue on. And then just work out where I want my card to come to. And I'm going to pop that one in. There. Okay so when that card is stood it's going to stand like that, nice and proud, on your mantelpiece. Okay, so now we can pop all of these bits of decoupage out. Let's see if they come out as easy as the snowman's did. So, got greenery, flower, Uh, Robin so we didn't need that bit so but we've got we've got that option there if you do need it a little bit maybe if you were doing a seven by seven card um, and you wanted to do the same sort of thing what you could do is extend that out um, by using that and then just putting that over that stopper over to hide it so I think in my head I was going to need it because of that space but uh, I didn't need it, so it's good. So we've got our sentiment there, which is season's greetings. And again, this one is coming out a lot easier than the last, what well, the first one was. And again, sorry if that goes off screen a little bit. And these, uh, you know, it's worth mentioning because I don't think I have today. But these are all beautifully foiled as if, uh, you know, every layer is foiled. So it's just absolutely gorgeous what they do with these kits. Okay, so we've got this one. Then we've got that one. And then that one's going to go before that one. Uh, we've got that one. We've got that one, that one, that one, that one. And then we've got our little bits. Okay, so let's pop our layers on. And obviously, you know, these are concept cards. So if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. You can just make them up um, as a concept card. And they are super, super simple to make up as a concept card. It literally is um, fold the cardstock in half, pop the um, circle pop out, Glue the bit onto the, the insert into the middle, pop your circle on, pop your decoupage on, and you've even got an envelope to pop that in as well. So it's, it's super, super simple. Um, and I know Hunky Dory have done lots of shows um, where they've shown how it, you make those up. Uh, there's probably other videos on uh, YouTube as well showing you how you make concept cards up if you are struggling. 
and I've had like I say I've had this is the fourth kit I think I've had in this style and I've not made a concept card yet so uh, I'm quite proud of that you don't have to but you've got that option there which is fantastic so again just trying to match up that circle bit and the leaf so I'm just going to pop my head in a little bit there we go I think that's going to be good and who doesn't like a robin card at Christmas come on I mean you don't even really have to I mean this one especially it doesn't even have to be Christmas it could just be you know if you don't use the seeds and greetings if you use one of the um, sentiments out of the little books you know little book of sentiments could easily be a birthday card especially for a fella because these are nice colors for a fella they're quite you know quite not quite girly but not quite manly they're sort of somewhere neutral in the middle and it's uh make a nice birthday card there we go my nan used to collect hellebores well she grew a couple and she moved into her little um sort of about maybe about two years before she passed away she moved into like a uh, an old people's sort of place not a home but you know where they've got their own flat and uh, she would you know all her life she was like not putting me in one of them places not putting me in one of these places and uh, where she used to live it had the steepest stairs it was one of these really old houses and she um when she was bad she couldn't even go upstairs and the, there was no toilet downstairs bear with me just drop that um, so you know she really did struggle and then eventually she ended up going in this place and it was lovely I mean it had three rooms it was like a nice little kitchen um, a living room bedroom or in a bathroom so four rooms um, and she always said she wished she'd done it sooner and she had a garden I think what she was frightened about was like she wouldn't have a garden you know everybody would be making decisions for her and uh, you know it's not like that anymore um, you know these are places that promote your independence rather than try and take it away but um, yeah she really did enjoy being there and like most of her garden she'd taken in her pots her favourite plants some of which I've got now got her lovely lilac and things um, but um, yeah she, uh, she always regretted not going sooner and she could have even like taken her dog when she had a dog she had a, a doberman you know and it's not what you would sort of uh, envision as an old person's dog but um, Safi, her name was, and uh, Sapphire, and uh, she was just the sweetest dog. And uh, when my nan used to go away, I used to go over and, and not stay with her, but I would go over and be with her for a couple of hours, you know. And we would sit, and I know you're not supposed to, but we used to eat Smarties. I used to play with her, she was just gorgeous 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 dog okay so just putting this and this is all just like really foiled and beautiful this it's just gorgeous so we're just popping these flowers in I'm hoping I'm putting them in order Again, you can let the outside edges guide you. 
It does get a bit trickier with the smaller pieces, I'll be honest. Okay, so let's have a look on this one. Not sure if this is this one or the last one. I think that's from the last one. And then this piece is An odd shape one, this one. But this is the leaves. Didn't know where that was moving. Um, and then we've got another leaf here. Where is this for? Mm, might leave it out if I can't find it. Okay, and then we've got this one, which is another bit of a flower. check with that one can I definitely not see where that is going nope right okay we will leave that one out so that's fine so there's our card that will go like so now we just have to decide where we want our greeting to be so we could put that on to there and break that up or oh, it's not really going to be seen there is it well, it looks good on camera but it doesn't look good in real life let me try just tipping that up the right way okay so what I'm going to do I'm just thinking this does look a little bit plain so what I'm going to do I am going to put that sentiment on there but I'm going to bring my trimmer back let's have a little look at that we'll see what that looks like with that okay so uh, let's go four notches under the six with that and if I grab another piece of gold foil I'm just going to put a tiny little mark where I want that to be and we just have to try and get that nice and straight so to try sticking that down keep your fingers crossed for me you will need a bit off the end if it is right oh, awesome okay so I love that little trick with the um, with the tape and a little bit to really just help me out so extra pair of hands that doesn't go under that guard okay so this is going flat and it's nice because it all ties in it's a bit of card that would have been thrown away and again I'm going flat onto this glitter and again this wasn't anything that I'd sort of planned as such sentiment right at the top so 
So, shall I go flat? Shall I go? I am going to go flat. So, let's just move that over a little bit. what we need is just some gems to go across there so let's see we've got green on here so let's bring some green out green lots of green those ones as well I don't think I've got anything that is sort of frozen ish I think we will have to go with the green go with black or we could go with here no let's go green so do we want shiny green okay so I'm hoping that none of that got cut out because the the system did just freeze again um what I'll do is if any has been cut out I'll just put a little bit up on the screen and just explain where we are hopefully it won't have been much if any at all um, sometimes it, it freezes on my screen but the actual camera is still recording so nine times out of ten that's still happening so you'll probably be thinking what's she going on about if that's true um, but that's it for today like I say back with moonlight fairies next time I've um, got an, a couple of ideas that's a lovely kit because it's like the silhouette one so they're always nice to play with and it's nice just to come out of that Christmas zone even though everybody else is just about starting to go into it now um, but I should be back um, so I'll make the video on probably Thursday um, but it'll probably be up midnight Thursday so going into Friday and we'll see what we manage to create then but until next time, thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, I'll just say the same. Everybody um, on YouTube says, please do consider subscribing, liking, sharing, etc. It really does help me grow my community. Um, and it helps to encourage me to keep doing these videos. Even though um, I sort of don't know what I would do with my day if I didn't do them. Because I just enjoy them so much and I'm like thinking about them all the time. It has become a bit of an obsession um but there you go um but i'll see you um on the other side so thank you so much for watching as always take care happy crafting bye